Hello my friends and welcome to The Electric Viking. Now I've just quickly made this video because I think it's something you need to know at the moment. There is a chip black market rising in China and it's I think quite alarming. Unfortunately, it's potentially the start of big problems with semiconductor supply all over the world. Now reports are coming from all over the place but one of those comes from Car News China saying that a $2 Bosch ESP now costs over $600 on the black market. Now, to be honest with you, my first thoughts were, well, interesting. Maybe this is another opportunity for BYD to continue to increase their sales. Now, last month in August, BYD's percentage of NEV sales, of their total vehicle sales, was 88%. They're now nearly a full electric car maker. Now, obviously, there's still a percentage of those are plug-in hybrids, but Honestly, they're getting so close, I think they may become a full EV company by 2025. And honestly, this is a huge opportunity because BYD makes their own semiconductor chips. They're not supply constrained. They're not going to go and have to pay enormous amounts of money for these chips. Now, I'm not sure how this situation will affect its competitors. Obviously, companies like Tesla and Neo, Liauto, Xpeng, etc., etc. But I do know Neo said last month that they are supply constrained by semiconductor chips, and that is why their sales figures went down. But strangely, Xpeng sales went up in the same month by quite a bit. So it's affecting different companies in different ways. But clearly, the one company we do know will be that will be affected positively by the situation is BYD. Now, a chip shortage is the biggest problem right now being faced by new energy vehicle manufacturers, specifically electric car manufacturers, and Elon Musk has talked about this being a huge problem for the company. They've tried all different ways to kind of pivot around this situation, but right now they are being constrained by this issue. Now, a Bosch ESP or Electronic Stability Program chip under normal circumstances costs 13 yen each, which is around about two US dollars. Now, in mid-August, with the spread of the epidemic in Malaysia, many local governments there chose to shut down production lines, and there was quite a number of large semiconductor chip companies manufacturing warehouses and businesses in Malaysia. So this dramatically affected companies like Toyota, which shut down around 40% of their production lines. And this also resulted in continuous supply interruption of Bosch ESPs. Now, subsequently, the black market transactions began to pop up all over China, apparently. And according to the latest news, the current black market price of a Bosch ESP chip is 4,000 yen, which is 625 US dollars. This is going to add an enormous price to a car. And the only possible reason that you'll be willing to pay this much for a $2 part is because it's the one thing you need to actually sell your car. Now, this black market price is ludicrous. It's just ludicrous. It's nearly 300 times higher than the normal price. Now, apparently, Car News China says that black market transactions only accept cash and there's no bargaining. You just have to pay the asked for price. Now, apparently on September 14, so three days before I filmed this video, in response to the Shanghai Securities News, the relevant person in Bosch China said, there is indeed a shortage of chips used by Bosch ESP, which is their car body stabilization system. The impact of the epidemic has led to tight supply, and Bosch also hopes that the supply chain can slowly restore production capacity after the epidemic is alleviated. Now, the shortage of Bosch-related Bosch chips has seriously affected the development of new energy vehicles. The ESP system is Bosch's flagship product. Most of the world's models equipped with electronic stability programs use Bosch's ESP system. So if you're thinking to yourself, yeah, Viking, who cares? It's only Bosch and it's only an ESP system. Well, most of the world's models are equipped with this particular chip. Now, ESP, believe it or not, is actually a patented trademark of Bosch and other manufacturers cannot name their electronic stability programs after ESP. So apparently Bosch has now pretty much cut off supply over the last month for their ESP. And a lot of new energy vehicle manufacturers are obviously outraged about this. They're angry. 
They're saying we can't get our car out to the customers who have ordered them because of one single tiny little chip. Now, Lee Bin, chairman of NEO, said the new epidemic round in Malaysia has brought uncertainty to, the, to their chip supply. NEO has taken some countermeasures apparently, but they're saying it's significantly affecting their sales right now. Now, He Yao Peng, chairman of Xpeng Automobile, lamented on social media recently, it's painful for us to lose the chip, really painful. Now, in addition to this, there was actually a fire at the Renesis chip factory in Japan, and this has also affected supply in addition to obviously the coronavirus epidemic in Malaysia. So when I look at this, you know what I think to myself? I think opportunity for BYD. BYD sales are climbing enormously in China right now, and they're on the cusp of launching their vehicles overseas as well. Now, they make their own chips. Whether or not they actually purchase these ESC chips from Bosch, I don't know for sure, but I've Googled it and I can't see that they do. It doesn't appear as though they use Bosch's ESC. So it sounds as though this situation isn't affecting them. I think there's a bit of more potential in BYD's share price over the next few months thanks to this issue. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I mean, I prefer not to have this issue at all. I want to see the EV revolution take over the world as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.